Hey guys, this is Grix, and this is my first video in a while. Um, I'm going to be uploading it. I thought I'd just do a little update on how I think of the PvP so far in 5.1, what I think of the changes, the talents, uh, how I'm doing gearing-wise and RBGs. I did break, uh, I did get 1900 RBGs. I almost got there, like I was really, really close, and then I got pushed back down due to some bad teams and trying to get up there it's not it's not very hard but it's just hard to find good teams that want to run and a lot of the good teams are already set or they're in a really high guild and they want you to have specific requirements but first I'm going to I suppose I should just continue to talk to you guys about uh, what I think about 5.1 first so first of all in 5.1 they uh, reduced the cast time of symbiosis here uh, to one point well it's supposed to be two seconds but mine's 1.83 I think due to my haste and that's really a big it's a really a big thing it's really helpful I really enjoy it because of the fact that uh, then if you forget it you can use it on the fly you can even change your symbiosis to someone else if you misclick um, you can use it in clutch situations like let's say you're running uh, frosty K warrior and uh, you, you could change in between the Icebound Fortitude you gain from the Frost Death Knight, or you could go ahead and go get the Fear. Personally, I like both. That, that's one of my dilemmas, is I enjoy both kinds of uh, buffs from each specific class, but it's really personal preference. They didn't change a whole lot as far as... Um, a whole lot as far as other changes there was a few changes to uh, balance in feral feral had a new auto attack change uh, balance had some things to do with uh, their solar beam and a few glyphs there were a bunch of glyph changes to different things like warriors warriors no gag order which makes me extremely happy I really hated gag order is one of those things that really pissed me off because it would be like stun into a shockwave and then you displace her a beast away and then he just gag order you and heroic leave you and destroy you especially if you're running like uh if they're running i suppose like even lumberjack cleave or uh pretty much any comp with the warrior was really overpowered because of the gag order um so i'm glad they fixed that they did downgrade uh the mages uh sorry my brain's not working Fr uh deep freeze which really is an improvement because they can lock you down it's not a huge difference they also made frost bomb one second or a couple seconds faster, like like it lasts longer. So it gives you a chance to dispel it faster, which is really nice because I remember not always being able to dispel fast enough and just having a frost bomb go off on one of my teammates and that really hurts. But anyways, I'm, I've am i been working on my gear. I've got a lot of malevolent. Uh, I got my weapon fully upgraded. I have a lot of conquest points, but I think I'm going to go for my head next and then my trinket. But I do want to kind of save up because I want to try and get my tier 2 weapon at some point here. I don't know when that'll be, maybe in the next few weeks. I'll have to see if I can find a viable group to run with for uh, PvP. But aside from that, I've just been working on RBGs. At some point I want to show some Frost DK. I've been working on Frost DK. I have a Frost DK with a Blood off spec, And she's been geared up on Dark Spear. So hopefully I'll show you RBG or regular BG footage soon. And... Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, this is just one of those videos where I don't have a lot to say, but I hope you guys watch it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is Grix. I'm back, and this is Grix out. Peace out. Stay fresh.